Let us continue playing Jake Clue 2. We have discovered a new area, hidden behind an area I thought I'd already explored, but apparently I had not. So, let's go and explore it. And there is a person here. So let's go and discuss things with him, I think. But first, magic usage 2. Well, what do we have here? Aren't you a little young to be a cocoon master? So, you're a fake too, huh? Eh? Get your firefly cocoon somewhere else. This is my turf! You think you're better than me, huh? Well, you leave me no choice! Okay. Boss fight against the poacher. Right, I guess we're gonna summon... Actually, we haven't used this guy yet. Let's summon this guy. I know he's best at taking on multiple enemies, but heck, he has fang and accuracy. That wasn't a bad hit, actually, but he's now going to summon monsters himself. Oh, and we have the edge on his monster. Right. Valis. That would have hurt. True, his monster is more physically capable and quicker than ours, though, is the only problem. And we've only got one more of these left. Yeah, his speed might trump our um, element advantage here. Actually, even with that, that still worked. Right, what's our basic attack do? Puts me into a red. I don't think it's going to be enough. Got him. Right, the poacher returns. We're gonna have to switch you out. Let's go with you. If that's all you've got, you're going to hit me again. Right, here's a try that again. If that's all you've got, and then this is over. That's before I summon another monster. Right. Patash, finish him. Got him. He falls. Great walnut. Patash gains to level 8. Emir improves. Ow! I'll get you for that! Not sure what you can do, but we apparently own your turf now. And we have a lava key. And this, I think, now means we can go and do what we were actually planning on doing. So, what's round here, if anything? A little bit of a drop. But we've led back round to where we were. Right, now I think we can leave. Now I did pick up a few monsters, I picked up the green version of those monsters. A couple of those anyway. I might have even got, no, I got three of those actually. So we have new monsters to fuse when we get back. I'm not going to bother fighting and getting any more, because I'd rather actually get to the end of this. So we want to actually leave here. Head back round. Yep, round up and over. And these are back now to air element monsters, so we can use our water element monsters to fight if, well, a water element monster to fight if we so choose, but not much need. Right, off we go, round here. Right, air element monster. Let's summon... Oh, you're still quite wounded, actually. We'll just beat you with um, the Patash for the moment. Fire attack. Hits. And your laughable attempt at magic is laughable. Right. Onwards. Round through 
log here. And here we go. Right. Lava key used. And we're through. Right. What we're going to do now, just because... Come here. And uh, let's think about this, actually. Let's use Shablika on Omia. Let us then use... What's that do? Sharpens Minion's Claws. Sharpens Minion's Will. We're going to use the Great Wall map because that will fully heal us. Right. We'll debate about using some of the other items we've got in a bit, but for the moment, we go through. We shall drop a save state here. And apparently everything's turned to ice. Is that an item there, or is that just... Yep, that is an item. Hey, you're a cocoon master, right? What do you say to a quick little duel? What? You're no fun. Don't you know who I am? I have an idea ha, who I can't you are. believe it! I am the strongest, most handsome guy in the forest. I go by many names, such as Birdman. After all, I am the legendary man of the Dragonfly Forest. It's hard being so famous. Call me Kiki Nak. Of course, that's only if you can defeat me. Well, that's all for introductions. Here we go. Here we go indeed. So, versus Kikinak. Now, it's a good bet. The fire is the way to go. But we're going to start with Omia. Because Fang plus accuracy. he attacks, does more damage back, and is quicker than the Omia. Right. So we might get one more shot, I think. Let's try magic. Not very effective. We're better off attacking, really. Ouch. We're switching you out for Patash. Right. Fire attack. That worked. Second one should kill you. Yeah, you're quick. But if that hits, oh, it didn't. He'll get a second. No, he doesn't get a second. Attack. Oh, darn it. He might kill the Patash here. Nope, we get a chance. Geekinak is down. Wow, you are so powerful. I've heard the rumors, but Cocoon Masters really are powerful. Indeed we are. So, you're from Cyrus, huh? Hmm. Well, now I've met two. That'll be... If there's anything I can do for you, just ask me. From now on, we're friends. Hmm. Let's ask about the Calabas herb. Calabas? Oh, you mean this powder? My friend Yamu from the Spider Forest gave it to me. Oh, I know who Yamu is. The only thing you'll find here in the Dragonfly Forest is sleep spores. If you want some calabas, why not go talk to Yamu? Yamu and his family are very fond of rare and unusual things. So if you give them something valuable, just maybe... <laughs> but I warn you, they're very greedy and won't share with you so easy. Okay. Oh yes, you can have this too. No. Without it, you can't get inside. Spider key and calabas powder. Right, let's ask about the other person. What? You haven't heard of him? Well, that's odd. My young friend was bragging so much. You don't know who it is? His name is Kelmar. He is strong, you know. Who's this Kelmar? Well, now, it's a small world indeed. Kelmar has told me a lot about you. I still don't know who this Kelmar is. He said, no one is stronger than me, but strength does not make a powerful man. 
Speaking of which, the power of man is so complicated. I just don't get it. Right, I think we'll say goodbye here. Leaving already? Well, take this. It's proof of our friendship. Don't worry, you can have it. We'll be able to meet any time you use it. I'll tell you about myself next time we meet. Well, see you later. See you later, Kikinak. We now have the Ocarina of Time. No, wait, just the Ocarina. And I believe it's going to take us straight the out. The unforgiven, the greedy, and at times like a child. Sage of the Forest. And we are two down, two to go. Well? Did you meet the Birdman? Yes. What has transpired? So? This powder is ground from the leaves of the calabas. We must go report this to the chieftain at once. Although this confirms the existence of the calabas, this is not enough to save the entire village. Difficult. Yes, we have no choice but to go into the spider forest. There are many types of divine spirits. Know you that some can be quite malicious. If we can believe Kikinok, then it is true that the forest man has become the fallen spirit Mamon, as told in Nagi legend. Mamon? Mamon was an agent of Elrum, who drowned in material greed. It is said it. that Mamon was commanded to live the rest of I his think existence also skip is awkward. as the keeper of the divine tree. If Kikinok is the divine spirit Amos, who indulged in lust, then... Then Yamu, the forest man, must be the divine spirit Mamon, who indulged in greed. Perhaps there is more about Yamu in the folk tales of Cyrus. I will have to ask... The, the Grave Keeper! The old Poto may know something. Why not ask him about the folk tales? That seems like a sensible idea, actually. And that would be a reasonable way to end this um, video. Right. So what do you all do now? Say... Huh? Oh... Hmm. I want you to perform Nungi magic. Are... Because we have some turtle things. Which need merging. And possibly merging back onto... um. The other earth monster we got. So, let us sort out. We have Free Rigu, all level 4. With an all enemy stability. Yep, merge. Thankfully, they seem to be mostly power based, so. With luck, there'll be a reasonable um, merger with. Um, Turbex. So, uh, sort. No. Merge those two. From that perspective, all that happens is two additional hit points, two less mana points. So, yes. Oh, man. Okay. And finally. Yep, we're still Rigu. And next we want to see what happens here when we fuse this with this. It goes slightly mad is what happens. Uh, let us view the form first of all. Dear god it's terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, view other abilities. So it'll have a sleep attack, earth attack with accuracy, it'll still have the Oli magic, and actually it's a good all-round monster at that stage. It'll also be level 8. Oh, magical be Okay. And in order to name it properly, we're going to go and put a G U on the end. 
Right. I want to try merging some more? No. I don't think so anyway. Let us though equip that in place of the Patash for the moment. It's up as well, but we do need to um, get a fusion so it's got a few more abilities. So these are our monsters then. The turtle thing. The very, very weird thing these days. And of course, this thing. Yeah, stop performing divine magic for now. Do you have it's hard to talk about it with Garai right here. Let's go outside. Okay. What are we talking about? Go on about ahead, here? I'll be right out. Well, I'd rather end with um, the stories, but I'm sorry for asking you to come out of your way. It's just that it's hard to talk about things with Mother Garai around. Fair enough. We used to be able to talk about everything. It's strange, isn't it? Uh, it will be nice to start with. Me? Well, you know I really like you a lot. It's just that uh, there's so much going on right now, you know? Yeah, most of the villagers still asleep. Why do we have to have so many rules and traditions? There's just no escape. I know some people hate the Nagi, but I'm an individual. I won't run away from them or anything just because it's hard. I might have married you because I had to, but I would never ever leave you. All we ever talk about now are the village and cocoons, minions. Yeah... I, I know now's not the time to be worrying about these kind of things, but it's just that... I never get to see you anymore. If only things were different. I've been doing this for maybe a couple of days. I... Oh well. Your mother comes by a lot while you're gone. She's really kind to me, and she might just be worried about me, but I'm sorry, I just can't stand it at all. Mother Garai may understand how she feels, but I sure don't. Purification is nothing but pain. Didn't your mother do it all because she loved your father? And then he just got up and left her because he couldn't stand to watch her suffer? How cruel! But why, even after all of that, does she still love him? Are all women like that? I can't say this in front of Mother Garai, but I really don't agree with that at all. Hmm. I'm sorry if this upsets you, but I just couldn't live the way she does. No matter what happens, don't worry about me. Do your duty as our cocoon master. Just don't run off like your father. Son of a coward, eh? Hmm. Your father, he's supposed to be a great man, right? I heard the story of the day he said goodbye to your mother. I heard that he was a kind man who always protected her. But how could such a man leave her? Do you call that kindness? The cursed brandings are a painful experience for a woman. But that's why I need you here with me. To your mom, your father's departure might have been an act of sympathy, but I don't agree. I would have felt betrayed. We're both in this together, so please stay here as the cocoon master of Cyrus. I will then say goodbye, we talked. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh. I almost forgot. Take this. You'll probably need it. And it is the Nuggy Belt. Well, I guess, as I said, we shall end with some cemetery stories. Hmm. 
I don't know from Mubby. Seems to be getting a little bit mum. Alright, fair enough. So, old man, tell us the tale so that we might be entertained. Mabu! Yep. She's always been strong minded more than any other child in Cyrus. So, we want to hear the story of the forest man. Once upon a time, this forest was a paradise for the divine spirits who served Elrim, god of the forest. The forest people are the incarnation of Mamon, the divine spirit of knowledge. When the divine spirits created man, it was Mamon who bestowed knowledge upon them. But man used his knowledge for the pursuit of ruin. In the end, Gehenna Palais was destroyed because man aroused Elrim's wrath. Bestowing knowledge upon man troubled Mamon greatly. In order to prevent the mortal causing further destruction, to this day he lives in the forest protecting it from the foolish ways of man. If you act not in destructive ways, surely Mammon shall bestow upon you valuable knowledge. Makes sense, I guess. We are in good hands with you as our cocoon master. Mind you, all we do is attack and destroy things, I guess, but actually that wasn't a lot of a story. Come that. again, any time. Hmm, the wind is blowing again. It's almost as if the forest weeps. I'm afraid something terrible will happen. Well, we're at the halfway point of a game. It wouldn't surprise me if something terrible happened now. So anyway, we're on to the third forest then. In search of the spirit, Yamu. So, I shall get to the forest gates. Yes, we proceed into the barrier gates. And I shall save it here. So... Until next time.